Bob! <laughs> Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with True Blue Blur. Long time no see. So, uh, welcome back from Canada. Hi, uh, thank you. Uh, Had a lot of fun. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what sorts of things did you do in the Great White North? Well, um, my main reason for going there was to visit my partner, um, who I haven't seen in a little over a year at this point. That is a long time. Yeah. It's, that's pretty difficult, but, you know, um, we went to the um, Royal Canadian Museum in Ontario, um, looked at uh, dinosaur bones and, and uh, Chinese and... and uh korean artifacts for about probably for five hours where so. so did they get those korean art chinese and korean artifacts from like regions in china and korea or were they oh yeah they they were okay they were uh, authentic they're th they had a whole huge section for just asian stuff oh gotcha it was okay. really interesting stuff so it was like a museum where they were like it was like on loan from a different museum or something. Uh, or... Possibly, I don't actually know. Gotcha. I, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I mean, I um, as much as I really like history and everything, I don't know that I, I don't I don't remember the last time I went to a museum other than like OMSI. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know, OMSI is like a children's science museum here in Portland. <laughs> yeah. Um, Although they do also have events for adults after a certain hour yeah they have exhibits and whatnot they have omsi after dark is what it's called and they i think they serve alcohol oh do they i think so i was not aware of that i also i don't think i can drink alcohol anymore well i mean i'm sure there's some but it's probably <laughs> best anyway yeah like i um not for the not just because of the keto diet but like i i've been trying to drink this is a little bit more from. yeah that's where we came from I've been trying to drink a little bit more, uh, so I, I tried some like vodka, because that's like the best thing to have if you're going to drink on the keto diet. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting to the point where just like, if I add a shot even to like, say some uh, carbonated water, uh -huh. and just drink that mix, um, I feel just terrible the next day. <laughs> yeah, like, gotcha. just absolutely terrible, like terrible symptoms. Um and that's been happening every single time I've been doing that. So I think I'm just going to swear off alcohol. I think I mean, my body you know, just is rebelling. If your body doesn't want it, it just doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm not sure what to do in this room, but the pots are giving me arrows. Are they? So that's a bit of a hint. I mean, So maybe there's, there's an up direction shoot. you have to look? Huh. I don't know. How very strange. Well, while you figure that out, uh, I actually turned 30 recently. Oh, okay. Happy belated well, birthday. Thank you. And, um, yeah, uh, I think that's a lot of the reason why my body's rebelling. Yeah, maybe. So I actually found five white hairs in my beard. Oh, yeah. That's, um, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, when did you start getting the, the white hair in your beard? Um, when I started growing a beard. Oh, I've, really? I've had white hairs on my head since I was six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, but like, I wonder. Like, I, I don't know when that normally starts for men. Like, they start getting the it depends the white hair. It depends on your genetics. I think um, my dad told me that the white hair. Um, well, my dad has a big white splotch right here in the front of his head. Yeah, but that's probably um, a birthmark. Yeah, yeah, it's a birthmark. And then my brother, uh, he keeps his sideburns really high. Uh huh. Um, but when he doesn't i think it's just underneath where the line is part of that beard like there's a white splotch oh, there gotcha okay um then for me apparently uh, my dad's father what's happening to me where i'm getting white hair in my beard at 30 uh -huh. um was more common for him okay. so it's you know we get white hair in different ways i suppose yep for sure but i'm also like i cut my hair a little shorter here than normal uh, just because I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm getting to, the, you know, like that that age that like men get to where it's like, just sh cut my hair short. <laughs> and just, I'm going to go to the barber like every week and just <laughs> have them keep it super short. Oh, you know, even that if is it pretty common. It, you know? That is pretty you common. You see a lot of old men in barber shops. It's like, why are you getting a haircut? Like, your hair is already super short. Like, why? <laughs> like, but I don't know. Like, I'm starting to get that urge, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, so I cut my hair and, and like, when I look in the mirror, I can actually see little white hairs yeah. all over the place. So it's, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It's I'm not just... it's not the worst thing though. I I don't think it looks bad at all. Oh, well, thank you. I I like white hair. It's uh personally. I've always liked it. There, there's a right like mixture of white hair before you, you know. I mean, your your mixture is good. Well, thanks. I appreciate so, that. <laughs> it's um and not not necessarily like full white hair is bad or anything, but just it's it's a you know you're you're getting old. It is a symbol, yes, yeah. but you know that's such that's such a Western thing to fear old age. Yeah, well, I mean, it, death is coming soon, so. I mean, you say soon, but you know you're not even halfway well, through I, your life yet. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, I'll probably die at like fifty or something. Okay. So I mean. You know, it's it's. Uh, I guess it all really depends on when they make that coronavirus uh, vaccination oh, uh, available, <laughs> so that uh, who knows? Like I, you know, I, we probably won't mention the coronavirus all that much, uh, other than to say um, the first thing I said to you when you came over was, "Please wash your hands." For sure, and <laughs> the only reason you got that out before I could say, "Hey, where's your bathroom?" <laughs> is because I happened to be staring at my phone at the time. <laughs> I was already planning on asking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was. Um, I went to Best Buy today um, to pick up a Chromecast for for my girlfriend because um, yeah. she wanted to. We wanted. No, we now have a TV in the bedroom, so I had a oh, TV yeah. that was sitting in my closet that is now in the bedroom, and we were thinking about hooking up my Xbox 360 to it so we could do oh. apps, but you can't cast to an Xbox 360. No, that's a little too old, I think. Yeah. So the the best thing to do we we're thinking okay well maybe we could go to a game store and pick up like an old xbox you know so we don't have to use my xbox to do that <laughs> but then we're like oh well if we're gonna buy something we might as well just get a chromecast you know or get like a kindle fire Gosh, thing or do. not not kindle like a fire stick or something or yeah. roku stick but the chromecast is working out great and actually with, well, the, good. with the chromecast um i figured out while i was messing around with it i can mirror my screen Oh, nice. So, okay. like, literally my entire screen. So, I'm going to do some tests later. We are still in this room. I don't know what to <laughs> do. I'm so lost. Uh, I'm gonna. We're going to do some tests later to see if um, I can record my phone from the Chromecast. Okay. Um, which would be interesting. Okay, so this room has to be important for something. Yeah. Like, it can't, just, it can't just be nothing, right? Right. It's. It was super important to get here. Although there is... No, I mean this. This is where it connects. Is that just a spinny like the the rectangle there on the left? Is does that spin around the room? Mm, I think I can move it. I don't remember. Um, this was months ago that we were in that room. Right, <laughs> that is correct. I mean, there there literally there has to be something. There has to be something in this area that we're just neglecting. Yeah, it looks like such a dead end. Yeah. Although it doesn't show us rooms that we haven't been in, right? Um, or does it? I have the map, so it should. Oh. So maybe that's just a room where you're supposed to go in to get arrows or something? Huh, maybe. Oh, this is the Temple of Time, after all. Maybe, like, we have to activate something, and that's, like, the last room. I suppose that's possible. That's, you know, because this looks very much like a... I don't know. Like maybe this is just that whole, that chest there was the only thing we were supposed to do. There was another chest too that I got last episode, so I don't actually remember what was in it. Right. And this other area is. It was probably empty. just rupees. I threw that thing in there. But oh, it was yeah. empty. I can kind of hear something. Can you? Every once in a while. Huh. The tink. The tinking. Well, sometimes I hear it when I'm not walking, so I think this... I just don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just walk around and figure it out, because Zelda dungeons, you know? Okay, so arrows are important. Right. So maybe there's something we have to shoot with an arrow in this room. Maybe. There must be. Nothing right over here. Well, while you're figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, on my 30th birthday... Mm-hmm. I woke up. I still had to work. So yeah, for sure. I woke up with back pain. Oh, jeez. And uh, when I went to work, I realized, oh, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I literally had to turn my uh, my computer screen oh, we, to... I have a key. Oh, perfect. I had, I had to increase the the size of everything on my computer screen by like 50%. Oh, jeez. In order to like read it. 
Um, <laughs> and then eventually there was an issue at work where they had too many computers because, uh, or they didn't have enough computers because of some technical issues. Okay. And so they were like, basically when the next person came in for the shift, they couldn't log on to a computer. So somebody needed to, lo- needed to like get off the computer so they could do it. And since it was my birthday, they were like, like go home. Oh, well, that's so nice. I got off like an hour early. <laughs> so it, it helped. But um, yeah, I kept my birthday pretty low key. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really much of a birthday person. But I mean, the you know, I think we're supposed to fire something through there, aren't we? I think so. Let me hit Uh-oh. this first. Oh. It changes the doors. Okay. Oh, and then those circles allow you. You're going to have fire to fire it. it in there again. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Are you able to... American Sniper here. There you go. right. But, uh... How old are you again? You're like 34? I'm 32. Oh, you're 32. Okay. Until summer. Yeah, I knew you weren't too much older than I was. No, not much, yeah. Yeah. Oh, were those like laser things? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of laser things, um, whoa, what's in here? Uh, I'm guessing compass. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, that that will make it slightly easier. A little bit. Uh, but yeah, speaking of, of laser things, um, I started playing Pokemon Crystal in, uh-huh. in Italian. And, uh, oh yeah, because we have to get back through there. Is that even going to... Do you have to sure. aim like a little up or... Not really. Okay. Not from oh, this it's, la- it's lasers. Well, they do actually have a bit of weight to them, but it takes a long time for them to drop. Gotcha. Okay. It's only super long distances oh, that you have to worry here. about that. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Hi. It's a Lazalfos? Yes. Yes. It is. But, uh... Yeah, so I started that, that Pokemon Crystal in mm-hmm. Italian Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. Interesting story. Um, so the battery's dead in it. Oh, geez. So you can't save. But that's one of the things I did today. So I think I mentioned that my, my day was quite busy. Yeah. Um, one of the things we decided to do, because that Chromecast I mentioned, part of what we were deciding is, well, I need to go get the battery replaced in that Crystal game. Anyway, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we go to a game store and pick up like an Xbox 360 or something, that we could hit two birds with one stone. I then realized there's a game... Um, there's like a game store within a few miles of us, and uh, we just went there instead. But then we just went to a Best Buy after and picked up the Chromecast. Okay. Because uh, that was more financially feasible. Um, also, she really wants to cast. <laughs> yeah. That was very important to her. But uh, yeah, I told him that I would um, uh, basically promote him on the channel. Oh, nice. Because he, he does most of his business online because he's kind of doing it out of his house. But yeah, uh, his website is www.tappersretrogames.com. Nice. Okay. So uh, if you want to order retro games on the, uh, the interwebs <laughs> from a local source, um, I'll also, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description and also on the screen. I don't know. Depends on if I remember. But uh, yeah, I, I also so he replaced the uh, the battery in Pokemon Crystal for me today. That's super and, awesome. Yeah, and um, I also picked up Monster Party, okay. which is a game for the NES, which uh-huh. is very hard. Oh yeah. Uh, I used to own it when I was a wee lad, but um, I was dumb and traded it. Ah, uh, yeah, we all do that at some point. Yeah, but uh, now I have Monster Party again. Which uh, Very cool. I don't know if we'll ever play that on the channel though, because it's <laughs> really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's one of those games where you game over and you have to start over from the, from the very beginning. Yeah, I'm sure, for sure. So for sure. But yeah, Monster Party. Those who know, they know. <laughs> and the the like the art on the on the cartridge has like nothing to do with the game. Of pretty course. Pretty much. Like it's that's such a uh, early '80s '90s thing. Yeah. It's such a weird, like, premise for a game, too. Like, I forget, I I haven't booted it up, so I forget exactly, but there's, like, this creature, this demon, almost, who, like, comes to the real world, and he, like, stumbles across 
like this this Japanese kid with a baseball bat. And he's like, hey, my world's in trouble. I need your help. We have to merge together. Oh, I see. And so they merge together. And uh, you basically fight off monsters with a, with a baseball bat. And then every so often you merge into uh, the demon dude. <laughs> and you get to shoot lasers. I see. <laughs> and fly. Um, but yeah, super, super hard game. I think even JonTron back in the day... Uh, tried to play it. Oh, and, yeah. and he got frustrated with the game, couldn't beat it, right. and just looked up the end on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so this it, that's how hard the game is. Um, but yeah, my uh, w as soon as I got it, I like in, in the family chat I have for, for Facebook, mm -hmm. I posted the image of the cartridge and I was like, whoa! You found it again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Because so, there's, there's not a whole lot of cartridges in, in different places. So okay. it's kind of hard to find. Nice. Well, that's really awesome. Yep. Oh, I oh. can't. I can't carry that. So we're gonna that. put it back. You know, the economy in this game <laughs> is probably uh, tanking hard. Yeah, uh, like <laughs> there are things we can buy with this money, right? Yes. Do we just not need to? Uh, generally, I I don't need to as a a player. Yeah. Gotcha. What is this room? Uh, we could always look at the map. It's the bell room. Clearly. Where they keep the bells. Uh, have we gone up yet? Oh, there's stairs right freaking there. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I get lost. <laughs> I am not necessarily observant. Uh-oh. Oh? Scales of justice. I see that. So, uh-oh. It's okay. I think you have to throw it off of there. Or throw it onto there? Throw throw it or that that works too. Oh. Whoop. Interesting. Uh that that doesn't track. Cause you have to get I think you have to throw it onto the, the other platform. Across. Yeah. So you pick up that one, put it back on the platform that you were on to even it out and then but oh, that? No, that that could have gone worse um i don't know if i can throw it up no no, no okay okay bring it bring it back to the where you where you had it before like throw that backwards you know back onto there and then that's gonna raise a little bit right um i think like maybe a pixel <laughs> okay uh try okay try going on there again It can no. Okay, so somehow you have to get that yes. that one on there. Somehow. Well, let me see how far I can throw the dang thing. <laughs> uh, not not yeah. far. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh well, I thought it was gonna fall definitely down. Definitely could have gone worse. Okay, you, I not... still could have gotten it up here, but it would have been a pain. Okay, is there any way that you can add weight to the other one somehow? I'm not sure. Maybe if you Maybe change if I... to let's, a let's wolf, even it back out again, so I can take a look around. Maybe if you change to a wolf, I can try that. There's also a couple more of those. Oh, up there are. I don't know if I can more. get them down though. Do you have like the hook shot or something? Yes. Try hook shotting them. I don't think it can grab them. They're mm. very heavy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think I can get those so down. So maybe there's one, another one, like, around the room somewhere? Maybe. Well, maybe I can knock this guy off. If I don't miss. No. Mm. Is there another one we can grab from, like, another room? Are you not able to take them? I don't think you can. Hmm. Because there has to be... Well, even still, because... Oh, hey. There's a grabby thing. There is? On the wall here. Oh. A gravity thing. Grabby thing. Oh, a grabby. I was like, gravity thing. Okay. Look you at that. Like... Oh, there you go. I'll but e but even it. But even still, right, like... You're still... It's still too much weight on your it side. It is. I might... So... Uh, I, I'm not sure... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna have to try. Yeah. 
I might be able to throw try. It it. Yeah. <sighs> Not quite. Okay. Well, now we have even more weight on our side. We do. Maybe no, because we still. <laughs> uh, there's no way to like throw up, like super high. I don't think I can get it up there. Oh, oh I totally can. Okay. We didn't even need to worry. Okay, try. Okay, now now we need to like make sure to even it out though. So, um, because as soon as we do that, it's gonna yeah. And then, huh? Weird. We are very heavy, apparently. Yeah, we are heavier than that giant stone thing. So, okay, we'll just well, put it over I guess there. with all our gear, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that way we can still make it over. I can still do this. Yeah. yeah. All right. That puzzle took way too much time. It did. <laughs> it did. So, speaking of way too much time, uh, this is Frackbox. Oh, this is True Blue Blur. Have a great day. Keep on running fast.